Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. Now, if you saw the story this morning, you may have thought it was an April Fool's joke, but there was, in fact, an earthquake in Blanchard. It is our top story tonight. According to the United States Geological Survey, a 3.0 magnitude quake struck North Candle Parish around 2.30 this morning. NBC 6's Jesse Kelly has been following the situation all day. He joins us now live from Blanchard, detailing just how rare this is. Jesse? Well, Dan and Jack, we talked with several residents today who said who didn't hear anything. They pretty much slept through it. But I did talk with one resident who said she didn't hear it either, but she found out about it once her cell phone went off. And I had an onslaught of text messages um, from my family members talking about it. The early morning earthquake was felt from Shreveport to as far west as Palestine and Longview in East Texas. My mom lives a couple miles down the road and she said it woke her up and she couldn't go back to sleep afterwards. Since 2015, there have been 13 earthquakes to affect their architects. Two of them have been at least a 3.0 in magnitude. The first one occurred in 2018, the town of Timpson with a magnitude of 3.5. In Blanchard this morning, we saw an earthquake of a 3.0 in magnitude. In this case, it's referred to as intraplate seismicity. So that's an earthquake that happens within a tectonic plate. It's not along the boundary of two tectonic plates. Although it is rare to see earthquakes in our part of the United States, the U.S. Geological Survey has noticed a small increase of earthquakes across the central and eastern United States. They say it is because of two factors. Wastewater injection, uh, which was the most common case to begin with, and injecting it deep underground, which could trigger earthquakes. But we also have found cases where uh, generally smaller seismicity has been caused by the actual process of fracking. Jordan James is a property manager of an apartment complex in Blanchard, and she's happy the impact from this quake was minimal. I haven't even gotten a call this morning asking if I felt it from my residents. Now, it is possible to see more earthquakes after this first one, but as of right now, it's just too hard or too uh, hard right now to forecast that at this time. Live in Blanchard, I'm Jesse Kelly, NBC6 News. All right, Jesse, thanks so much. Turning now to some